and welcome back to the channel. Today's video we'll look at a Weaver diesel heater. Let's get started. So it's the time of the year, even though I have short pants, t-shirt, we are getting into winter season. So that means we're getting into diesel heater time for camping over land and all, all those kinds of things you might like to do or not. Or you just wanna heat up your little shed or whatever you have, your workshop. Those diesel heaters are very popular in the meantime and Vavor was the kind to provide this one. So what are we talking about? We're talking about a diesel heater, comes with those accessory boxes down here. I have not opened them yet, so we'll look into that. But about the specification itself, it's all in one unit. So the tank is up here and you can see there are some markings here and here. We have a display on this side, which I'll get into in a minute. But it's an eight kilowatt diesel heater. So they call it a 12 volt, 24 volt, all in one diesel air heater. It does have an app, which is Bluetooth control, which is cool. I like that the most. They also come with those remotes, which you can use when you, for example, in the tent and you don't want to use your phone at night because it's too bright. You just want to turn it down or turn it up. But they call it just a fast heating vertical portable diesel heater for vehicle and garage. Here's a picture of the overall what it should come with. Besides a power supply for your wall outlet, also a normal, not normal, but a 12 volt, 24 volt power supply. And it has an interesting different design. So let me give you a walk around as well. Advertised they have enhanced safety features and it does say only one gallon per night. How much do we get in here? Five liters, so it's more than a gallon. So 3.6 liters is one gallon. So we get one point something gallon in here. And it should be pretty straightforward to assemble, which I will do in a second as well. Here's a price screenshot of what it costs at the moment. I'll um, link in the description below to Weaver's website with a discount code as well in the description, as well as a link to Amazon in case you are interested in that and you're looking for one unit at the moment and you might like this at the end, who knows? We'll double check on that. So let me get started with what's in the boxes, try to assemble it and show you how that works. So and as always, I don't, I don't think you need to see me right now, but cutting off my hat, it's fine for me. We will, when we do have a bunch of hoses. And what's very interesting, I've never seen this so far, is this layout. Actually, it has four of those hoses outlets, which means, it's oh, not the right one, which actually means you can angle this into different directions, which is cool, because if you have multiple tents, this might be a great solution. I always had only the I think that's maybe a two inch opening or something, two inch uh, hoses, um, aluminum. And those will go wherever you direct them. Probably one and a half, not two. But, is that one? This is maybe one inch actually. Sorry, this is probably one inch. I should read maybe the manual, but you can aim this and target it into your tent if you have multiple tents. So that is nice. With an eight kilowatt diesel liter, that might be a very good opportunity. There are, by the way, also installation videos up here in case you have not watched them and you want to watch it rather there. Anyhow, we have those hot air hoses, which can be expanded a little bit, but honestly, that is very short. So I would replace them anyways, because this is, this is very short. Then we do have, this one is for the air intake. Oh, it's not very long, man. Air intake, so in general, when I get an all-in-one unit, I usually, the first thing I replace, all those hoses, except for the air intake. The air intake has a foam piece most likely in it. I would hope so, but honestly, there's nothing in it. This is just nothing. All right, then we have the exhaust, which gets super hot. Clamps, oh, actually, look at this. There's an exhaust um, tape already delivered or provided in this. Power supply for 12 volt and 24 volt, nicely labeled, so you can use the battery, directly hook it up. This one goes back here on this side, just plug it in here. The same like this adapter for the wall outlet. Then we have some feet, which goes underneath to elevate it, and you can then also fix install it to your ground, wherever you want to do that, in case you want to do that. Then we do have, is that an extension cord for some kind? Yeah, looks like this is an extension cord. Not sure what it is at the moment, but... So here, this one does, can be unplugged. Clamps. And a muffler. 
So pretty much all you need in here and a manual. So that's what I will read now. So I would say before we fill any diesel in it, we'll start with the insulation. Lay this up here because what you can see here, that's actually, so this is the unit itself of the diesel heater unit is right here from this side to this side. This is the air intake. Here it comes in, here comes the hot air out. And there's a combustion chamber inside and this is the fuel line. So just make sure this is good and tight. If needed, push it all the way in if it's not in there. And you can see the air inlet, the air intake, which is with this hose. We will connect here. We'll use a clamp that they provided here as well. And that's one, probably one of the more tricky ones to actually tighten here. So you wanna do that properly. This air intake, and we need a second clamp. Next one, we'll use this friend. There is, I believe, only one way to install this, correct? No, I'm lying. You can actually do both. Okay, so you can't do it wrong. Um, you have to make sure that it, at the end, that it goes horizontal out. Two clamps, but actually, uh, this one looks funny color, anyways. So, just make sure it is nice and tight everywhere. There. I've done this one. Now let's do it down here and see if we can get it on to actually screw it in. So that's good and helpful, it looks like. I don't know if that's here on purpose for that part, but I'll just utilize it. Yeah, looks good. Now the last part, and the muffler is like before. Well, by the way, if this is too boring for you, just skip over. So here we are, it's installed. Now you wanna bend it feet because what's happening now I'll show you that it's actually you can't position it because it's it's just standing on those two so it does need to be raised and that's what you have to do so I'll get blocks of wood to actually do that you can fire this up and you can then put the hose in, in the direction where you want to have it in your tent for example all right let's connect the watt cycle battery with the Vivo diesel leader. We'll be using this cable. Pretty easy. Positive is red, negative is black. So I did elevate it, as you see, because we need to have the space for those two exhaust and air intake. It's the other side again. No. Let's fill it with diesel before we fire it up. Connect it first to the battery. Maybe you don't have a battery, maybe you have a different connector, then you just make your own connector. Or you have a cigarette light or something. Um, yeah, up to you basically what you want to do. 12 volt, 24 volt. Let's like get started. Oh, maybe I have to press it longer. There we go. Tells me it starts up. And you should have exhaust and air intake always separated in terms of where they pull and push air out. Just that you know. There we go. I can use some clicking. It's a typical diesel heater, the pump priming. And then we have here the app. There we go. Okay, let's see if we can find it. Unknown, ooh, let's see, yes, there we are, heating, nice. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. So we see here is the current. We can see the altitude, which might be able to measure it itself because we are pretty, yeah, we are pretty level. That's fine. Shell temperature, ambient temperature, employer, plateau, model manual, nice. Oh. Oh, look at that. <laughs> it's all in your auto mode. Well, now it's priming everything. It might take a little bit until it gets hot. So that means I'll let it run. 
So in general, you wanna always have some kind of burn-in period. Uh, at the moment it says, well, I think it's cool that you see the, the shell temperature, 190 degree, 192 Celsius, 25 is at the moment ambient temperature. When I touch it here, it is nice and toasty, 32 degree, pretty sure, or even more. That's great. Let's double check how much power we're actually pulling at the moment. At the moment we are at 2.5 amp ish i would say averaging 2.5 amp on probably a 13 volt battery gives you an indication of how much it needs for firing up just letting it run now all right so you now see it it is running pretty well uh, longevity of this one who knows you know this is like the chinese diesel heater so we'll see as i pointed out already the hoses need to be replaced immediately they just I don't know how what do you want to do with them and as well definitely make sure that you have a better air intake filter included at least a little foam inside and what else well it's a it's a pretty cheap housing in general but it's all in one unit uh, the price reflects that and usually they work for definitely a season um, i had multiple of those ones there are way more expensive ones there are brand name brand ones so it's really, what are you looking for? Is it just for a little bit? This might be cool. The, the feature that stands out the most, this part with uh, the, where the hoses go. This is for sure the part that stands out the most, in my opinion. So one thing I didn't show you, but you have to pay attention and do, if you turn off this diesel heater or any diesel heater, you need to gently let it burn down or shut off. And that is, taking its time so keep that in mind and last but not least um, here when you click on settings you can actually on the app in the app make it way more comfortable and use this timer setting you see every day you see some time you even have here when you go back an automatic start and stop depending on the temperature i think this is a game changer and i've not seen this in any other unit so far and i'm talking about chinese diesel heater in this case so that might be actually a game changer for a lot of us. So now the big question, is this price justified? What do you think about it? Let me know in the comment section below. How would you use it? And is there anything else you need to know about it? I did not take this apart. Is this something you wanna see in a follow-up video or not? Please uh, leave a like if you like that stuff. And in case you wanna see more about renewable energy, especially um, now we're getting a couple new buildings up, we're getting a couple more batteries in and we're getting a bunch of gear from rich solar pretty soon which means inverter batteries not the small batteries big batteries i think it's up to 60 kilowatt just advertising in the future what's coming in the next weeks and month subscribe to the channel if you want to see that stuff thanks for watching what i'm doing now actually turning it off and here you see it it's called blue, blue.